Get off your scent. Keeping secrets in the brass fortress requires a spider's cunning and godlike vigilance. Luckily, you have me. Find Naramo and bring me that light. I hope to see you again, Assistant. Pray tell, what did Devaith Fear have to say? I fear that he and I might have gotten off to a poor start. Did he ask about me? Any mention of my many exploits? Raynor? Surely this is something I can handle myself. Impressing Devaith Fear could greatly increase my standing in the Dwemeric scholarly community. Tell me, what does Lord Fear ask of me? Uh, uh, us. He just wants us to build a lamp? What an odd request. No matter. I would be happy to offer my ample expertise, provided you let Devaith Fear know that I did so. First things first. I need to study one of the lamps we're supposed to recreate. with your purchases. What is it? to the great house. Permit me to assist all customers. Most. Honestly, I don't know what's wrong with the people in this city. If it doesn't have gears, they just aren't interested.
some kind of tubular housing. Probably meant to protect a glass interior? Difficult to say. A complex filament of some kind. The weaving on this fiber, it must be machine made. I should be taking notes. Hmm. Some kind of compressor. For funneling a gas, perhaps? Interesting. Auditory function by twenty percent. Call rotation complete. Resuming standard awareness. Memory artifact registered. Cognitive maintenance required. Security coils indicate zero intruders. Look at the apertures on this. It must be some kind of modulator that changes the nature of the light. Fascinating. Compressors, filaments, housings, modulators. Yes! I think I understand what these discarded lights have in common. Unlike the other lamps, these compress some kind of geodic gas into metal tubes. Then modulate the light to create another kind of illumination that mortal eyes cannot see. Invisible light! Remarkable! The potential applications are... limitless! Yes, with Rayner's assistance, I believe we can recreate this lamp without much difficulty. Of course, you'll need to procure the requisite parts. These are all broken beyond repair. What do you plan to do with this light, exactly? You plan to do what? Oh dear. Well, this seems like a terrible idea. But I shall rely upon you and Lord Fear to protect me. Here's a list of the components I'll need. Once you've acquired them, meet me in the Hall of Refined Techniques. Good luck.
You're one of the newcomers, yes? I hope you have plenty of things to sell me. Never have I seen such gleaming wonders since you all began to arrive. Now there's the look of someone on the hunt for something specific. You've come to the right place, friend. I've got a bit of everything. What can I get you? As a matter of fact, I acquired some of those just a few days ago. Apparently, someone's tossing out the old lighting to make way for the new. They're not easy to come by anymore, though. What's your offer? It's a bit less than I'd prefer, but if that's all you can afford, I'm a reasonable woman. We'll consider this a down payment on future business. Come see me again sometime, all right? Belong, yet here we are, and the wheel ever turns. First an outsider, now a tarnished. Perhaps there will come a day when this one will be merely a misanir. Got plenty to eat around here, so don't concern yourself about that. Just grab some slop and you're good to go. Excellent! 
Raynor and I have cobbled together a serviceable frame for the lamp. All we need now are the components I sent you to acquire. Were you successful? Wonderful! I'm confident this lamp will conform to the exact specifications of the lamps they removed. Provided Raynor didn't make any miscalculations. So, would this be the time to inform Devaith Fear of our success? Or mine, specifically? Excellent! Excellent! No need to return here, of course. Kirith should be back straight away, and I'll have her run the completed lamp over to the Locutorium as soon as it's ready. See you soon, Assistant! So, Devaith Fear requested this lamp personally? Fascinating. I read his thesis on Dwemeric power transmission as a child. First-rate scholarship, that. I'd love to meet him. Please remain at a safe distance, resident. Call malfunction detected. beginning to worry. Not about you, of course. These apostles have been circling me like cliff racers. Looking for an autograph, no doubt. So tiresome. I take it you were successful in learning about these lights and constructing a new one? Well done. I assume you discovered the special property of these lamps. Why does my dear friend Seal go to such lengths to avoid them? Visible light? Fascinating. To help with factotum navigation, perhaps? Huh. No matter. Further inquiry must wait. Now is the time for action. I will request a congressional assembly. Plant your lamp on the balcony above, then return to me. Did you say something about putting the lamp on the balcony? We might have a problem. Raynor and that annoying High Elf finished your lamp, but there's a problem. On the way here, I overheard an aide complaining about some new security measures Sotha Seal put in place. Looks like the balcony is under heavy guard now. Looks that way. Unless you want blood on your hands, of course. But that might complicate our sponsorship a smidge, yeah? Just be quick and quiet, like me. You'll be fine. Here's the lamp. Good luck.
I convinced Sotha Seal that the Congress requires yet another lecture on the sanctity of clockwork automata. He eagerly agreed. Seemed almost giddy about it. It was unsettling. Is all in readiness? Good. Seal's lecture should begin any moment now. Stand ready to activate the lamp. I'm reasonably certain that something will happen, but the specifics elude me. I guess this is what uncertainty feels like. What a novel change of pace. I haven't the time to discuss this, Faruni. Wittingly or unwittingly, Lord Set no longer serves the people of Clockwork City. Now, if you will excuse me. Gascon, where are you going? When news of this gets out, we need to issue a statement or at least gather the Congress for an emergency session. I have urgent matters to attend to. Make whatever statement you like. I will... I will return soon.
What is Gascoigne thinking, honestly? Well, that was enlightening. To think I've been speaking to Sotha Sil's shadow all this time. It seems so lifelike. Far more advanced than my own, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> Fascinating. It really is too bad we'll all be dead soon. Well, I don't mean to alarm you, but I will be frank. If an imposter sits upon the throne aligned and learns how to wield the power of this place, a cataclysm will follow. We may yet discover a way to avert this disaster, but the chances are slim. Stay with Varuni. With Sotha's seal exposed as an imposter, the Congress will fall into turmoil. In such chaos, dark truths always float to the surface. Pray they do so quickly. I have other inquiries to make. Stay vigilant. We will meet again soon. My dear Lord Set, what happened to you? <sighs> I can scarcely believe what we just witnessed. How could this happen? How could a shadow masquerade as Lord Set? The Father of Mysteries would never let such a thing happen. There must be another explanation. Fear, of course. Always the iconoclast. I'll bet he's snickering at us even now. It doesn't matter. I... I appreciate your diligence. This has been a profoundly upsetting ordeal. But we must move forward. We must find the real Lord Set. Yes. He was acting strangely, wasn't he? He always chafed under Lord Set's rule. Now he finally has a pretext to seize control, and he slinks away like a broken brassilisk. Curious. Too curious. The real Lord Set will aid us eventually, I know it. In the meantime, we must do for ourselves. Thank you for everything you've done. It appears we'll have to do a lot more before this is through. Classic Gascon. Fleeing to his chambers when things go poorly. I'm sure that news of Lord Set's condition has already made it to the streets. We have to move quickly to prevent a panic. Try to talk to Gascon. He clearly doesn't care what I have to say, but he might listen to an exodromo. You remain, you know, a novelty. No offense. We can't assemble the Congress without the Chancellor. Check his rectory in the west wing of the Basilica. He hides in there sometimes to nurse a bruised ego or write passive-aggressive memoranda. I'll try to settle the Apostle's nerves. Honestly. My nerves could use some settling. Don't let Gascon wriggle out of this. He has a duty and an obligation, as do I. What? Yes. Yes, I'll be fine. I just... this makes no sense. I don't understand how a shadow could take Lord Set's place. Maybe this is some sort of test. But why test us? The clockwork apostles haven't strayed. We build and pray and experiment just as the holy texts dictate. Compromised? You make it sound as if Lord Set suffers some kind of defect, like a crimped duct or a stripped bolt or something. We're talking about a divine being. Gods can't be compromised. They exist without flaws. Right? 
Do you know what the sermons say? Complexity belies the truth. The world rests on simple principles. Set is the truth and the light. Understand the simple and you understand the obscure. I do appreciate your candor. Let's pick this up again later. and you perceived. The Factotums reported a strange energy signature in Gascon's rectory. Did you find anything odd in there? Sounds like a nocturnal shrike. By the gears, how did that thing make it past our security coils? Is Gascon... Not suspicious at all, is it? A sudden departure followed by a Daedra attack. You're right. I knew Gascon was a conceited slaggard, but consorting with Daedra? I pray it's not true. We need to discover what he has that the Daedra covet. Proctor Luciana might be able to organize a search. She just left to disperse a crowd. I hope you catch Gascon soon. We need to know what he knows immediately. Birds? Not that I'm aware of. He might be tinkering with some kind of avian automaton, but he rarely discusses that sort of thing with me. Why do you ask? Wait, feathers? From a live bird? Unprecedented. As far as I know, no living bird has ever set foot or wing in Clockwork City. And even if they did, they wouldn't last long. Not a lot of worms crawling around here. They do eat worms, right? Fascinating. I've always wanted to see one, under better circumstances, of course. I'll notify our naturalists once we resolve this situation with Gascon. I'm afraid not. Gascon keeps his own counsel about what he does outside the Basilica. 
He spent a few days out in the radius last month, but that's hardly unusual. Apostles conduct research outside the fortress all the time. Mathematics, mostly. Predictive theory, spherical values, virtuous enumeration, that sort of thing. He just published a dissertation on transdimensional calculation, making inferences on how numbers change during planar travel. Impressive work. The specificity of his calculations just boggles the mind. It's almost as if... It's almost as if he had access to a planar rift. Oh no. I don't want to even consider it. Not until we have proof. I knew this wouldn't end well. to clear the square. You don't know, do you? I knew it! This is a disaster! If you want to panic, do so in your own homes, not in the public square. Now disperse, or be dispersed. Get them moving. You heard the Proctor. Return to your homes. If you're looking for Lord Set, I don't know where he is. I will find out, though. Count on it. Gascone, what has he done now? I can't keep up with the complaints. Good. Maybe a fabricant ate him. Our luck has to change at some point. So, he finally graduated from corrupt hobbyist to professional villain. I'm almost relieved. Now we can finally give him what he deserves. I assume you informed your sponsor, Provost Varuni? A citywide search? I can't spare enough apostles to search a broom closet. Reports are flooding in from the radius. Stories about fanatics in black robes, pale skinned Daedra, living shadows. We may have a full scale invasion on our hands. Hmm. I have one asset I can spare. I know an artificer, Dalimar. He takes some getting used to, but you won't find a better tinkerer. He can help you find Gascon, guaranteed. Go talk to him. He set up shop near the tenements. Slagtown. I knew that slag-addled piece of garbage Gascon would turn on us eventually. We should have dealt with this decades ago. The same as you, I wager. A combination of heroism and coincidence. I served Reman Cyrodiil as a battle mage during the Akaviri Troubles and the Valenwood Annexation. Yes, I'm still not exactly sure what happened. During the Valenwood Campaign, I locked staves with a wood elf spell leader named Keladith. He was deceptively powerful, wiry, quick as a skeever trap. I remember cleaving his staff with a summoned blade. Possibly. I think he was in the midst of a translocation spell when my sword made impact. There was an explosion and a bright light. When I woke, I was splayed out in the radius. Mangled. Yes, his factotum scooped up what was left of me and brought me here. He mended my wounds and replaced what couldn't be mended with metal. I asked him why. Because one day you will shine a light, he said. And that was that. Always. Take my advice. If we manage to find the real set, don't expect him to embrace you as a friend. We're all cogs in his eyes. Valuable. Beautiful, even. But ultimately expendable. You either grow to accept that, or you turn out like Gascone. 
Yes, bitter, sullen, probably traitorous, and if I get my way, dead. I think we should destroy it, if only to convince the people it can be destroyed. I'm already getting reports from citizens convinced that their neighbor or their friend is actually a shadow. Another few weeks of this, it will not end well. I'm prepared to live with that. I made a vow to protect the Clockwork City and its inhabitants. If sacrifices have to be made, we should all be prepared to make them, Lord Set included. You can ask. I have a crank in between my shoulder blades. One of my auxiliaries winds me up every morning before breakfast. That's a joke. In the same way as every other clockwork automata. A combination of engineering and sorcery that would take a century to explain. The machinery keeps me alive. I know it's unsettling to look at, but no one ever said life in Clockwork City was fair. Some of the lizard folk were attacked in Silent Mire. It's just an old swamp, so at least nothing valuable was ruined. Like Looking you. for a steady hand with a pickaxe ready. Well, well, look at you, all full of fleshy bits. Not a scrap of brass on you, is there? That won't do, that will not do. I can fix you up, no bother at all. Maybe new feet. You need new feet, don't you? A missing person? How mysterious. You wouldn't be looking for Soth the Seal, would you? I hear rumors, you know. All kinds of rumors. Something about him turning into a crow. Or was it a frog? Never mind. Luciana did you a favor. I have just the thing. Whoa! Cool those cogs, you twitchy rascal. This little scrap heap should do the trick. Meet Snuffler. The tracking Nix. Keep close to Snuffler, but not too close, you know. He spooks easily, and when he spooks, someone typically gets stabbed. Just a friendly warning. Good luck! There he goes! I just replaced his leg spring, so try to keep up! Combatants needed for a perilous task. Please respond for more information.
Johnny! Visitors! Ah, you're useless! What are you doing nosing around here with that ugly beast? Your Neef and I haven't done nothing! Chancellor who? Oh! You mean that brass-assed fancy boots that came running through here? <laughs> yeah, I seen him. Dragging his silly apostle skirts behind him like a broken wheel chain. Seemed like he was in a hurry. Pretty suspicious if you ask me. Yeah, the grease mucks up Dabrican snoots. That's why we stay down here. Wouldn't want the constable to see you. <laughs> uh, n never mind. <laughs> your man headed west. Should be some oily footprints about. Follow those tracks and you'll find your fancy boots.
another one of vile, sniveling agents. Gascon's gone. Now let me return to my mistress in peace. West, in the ventral terminus. He may have killed me, but he won't last long. He sealed his fate the moment he betrayed us. There existed a covenant between your Gascon, Clavicus Vile, and my mistress. But he broke it. Now he will drown in blood. Night mistress, I am coming. Gascon vowed to bring us an artifact of great power. Now the artifact is gone, but don't worry. My mistress will wring the truth out of him soon. The whispering shadows will claim this artifact, and you will all die, deafened by your own screams. You really have no idea, do you? Daedric forces conspire in every dark corner. Lurk behind every tree and stone. We spread like a plague. Claiming more souls and territory with each passing hour. So the seal's precious city will die at our hands. Yes, Scarfin and others. They served their purpose, and yet they linger. Confounding my mistress's plans and providing safe harbor to that toad, Gascode. I will say no more.